All right, guys, it is March 12th. Yep. March 12th, and I headed up to New York today to go out on the lake with my brother and try to catch some walleyes out of the kayak. Pretty excited. It is 65 degrees out, and we've got the kayaks in the back with our, uh, I'm going to be running a jigging rod, and he's running a casting rod, which is jigging wraps and ripping wraps. So should be a great night. Stick with us, and let's see what we get. I don't know. All right, so for the setup, bucket on the back with pole, net. I've got my flasher on here, and I just set the flasher, the transducer, down in the bottom and turn the gain up, and then I'll have my camera mounted here, and we should be able to get on a lot of fish. The weather's perfect. We've got a front rolling into it about 8 o'clock, so a little bit after dark. Yeah, I'm gonna get in there. Hey, Phil. Hey, What's going on? Hey, congrats on that book. Thanks, man. All right, guys, so what we're doing, we came out here in like 18 to 20 feet of water, and we've got some really soft ice that I can break through. It's a little windy, but what we do is just, what we do is nestle in as far as we can so we don't get blown around by the wind and then just scrape a hole so you can pull these fish out of the hole. Um, I've got my graph, I'm gonna put my transducer in the bottom and turn the gain up and we should get quite a few bites. pretty quick. I was down there for about 15 seconds and didn't even get my graph set up and first keeper of the night. Hopefully that's a good sign of things to come. Phil's got one. Oh yeah, that's a hog. Natural. Got it. Good How's that? That's two already. All right, Phil just got a nice one. Phil, how, how big do you think that is? 23? Yeah. About a 23 inch or so. We've got two on the board already. Keeper. 
Man, he came up so fast. I couldn't even get my my camera turned on. That's three already, about 20 minutes in. Huh? I would. Yeah, I'd definitely start jigging them. That's not a bad one. Not bad at all. Nice. I thought it was small. Awesome. One of the biggest battles is uh, this ice is real soft right now and the wind's blowing us so it keeps breaking and you gotta keep making a new hole to pull these fish out of. My transducer's on the side. Um, the issue I'm having is that it points my transducer the other way so I got hit without even seeing the fish one time. Um, just something you gotta keep breaking the ice, it's kind of a pain, but it's a lot of fun. I've got three, Phil's got two, and Georgie's got one so far. Look out. Like a good one. Yeah, it looks like a good one. Nice fish. Get him. Get him. <laughs> Yes. Nice job, George. Coming off bottom. I got one coming off bottom, too. There we go. Fish on. He hammered it though. Another keeper. That's number four. All right, so a little update. I'm up to four. Georgie, how many you got on the stringer? Two. George's got two, Phil's got two. So we're at eight already and we still got a lot of time left. Oh, George's got another one. I should turn this around. Come on, buddy. They're starting to bite good. That's George's third. Oh, what a hog. Nice. What a hog. Got some ice to go with them. Yeah. <laughs> nice fish, George. Hold him up when you get a chance. That is awesome. Oh, that the fires fall? me up. Uh, on the fall? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, what a hog. Wow. Nice fish. 21, 22. Cool. Good deal. So the wind shifted and it's coming straight out of the uh, north now instead of the south, so I gotta break some ice.
one's biting for sure. Oh, how did you not bite? He came up so fast. Dang it. Come on, fish. Man, I thought that was it right there. Normally when they come off bottom, there we go, got him, yes, yes, yes. There we go, that's another one. I was going to say normally when they come off bottom, you only get one chance, but he came back up, he's a little short. He's probably a keeper, but we can do better than that, I think. There we go. Number five. This? Yep. Oh, and it's a nice one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right at the end of the night, my best one. Check that out. All right, finish off strong. Eight total. Got two short ones too. Yeah, yeah, we did pretty good. No hogs though. Uh, not hogs, no, but good ones. Get them oh, man. How big? Probably 22, 23. <laughs> It was Phil's first uh, first ice fishing out of the kayak adventure. <laughs> Phil, what'd you end up with? Two or three? Two. Two of them? Yeah. I thought it was going to be on. Hey, no, what the hell? Dude? That's a little better. All right, well, there is our catch for the night. Between three of us, we ended up with 12. Not bad. Yeah, it was pretty good. Right, Phil, what'd you think? That was uh, that was your first kayak ice fishing experience. It was awesome. It really was. It was fun, but I tell you what, in the beginning I was a little sketched out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, breaking through that ice is kind of crazy. George, hold up your uh, two big ones right there. George ended up with a couple real nice ones and Phil had a couple real nice ones as well. Those are just slobs. That's awesome. So, Alright, that's a wrap guys. Huge. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, If we have one more nice day with some nice weather we might get back out. But otherwise, that is it for the kayaking trip of the year.